are you doing staring at Mercedes Lackey's Brightly Burning? This book is like my favorite book in the world. Why would you be looking at... Welcome to the Daily Blab. It is Sunday, uh, April 10th, 2011. I have spent most of the day reading and uploading and... And, um... <laughs> as I speak. Uploading and, um... And, um rendering the videos for How Not to Play Dead Rising 2. I just finished rendering one. Here, I'll show you. See? Just finished rendering literally just right now. Um, and then I can also show you this. Look at it. Part 10, uploading. It's almost done because I'm at home and so it takes forever, but it's almost done. So uh, anyway, hello, welcome, what's up? How you guys doing? I'm, I'm doing better. I'm not dead anymore, which is awesome. Um, what I I'm gonna read some of this to you because I I am so excited about this book. I love this book, and I, I, this this will tell you why I love this book. We're just gonna I'm gonna start off in the middle of like a climactic point here. So don't if you're confused, you'll understand why you're confused because it's in the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> All right. Let's see. Let's see. Where can I start? Okay, Tyrone told me what I told you. And then he told the others to play with me, and they started to shove me around. He could hardly speak now, torn between anger at his tormentors and a terror as great as they had given him. But why was he so horribly afraid? What was it that the Herald's questions were pushing him toward? Why did the questions make him want to run away, howling? Please, leave me alone! So they tossed you about and slammed you into the walls, then. Then, that was when Tyrone said, and they took me to the chair, and they tied. The red rage and fear rose together, and the herald wouldn't let him alone. Then what, Lan? the herald persisted. Then what happened? We have to know. He reached out and seized Lan's shoulder in an attempt, in an ins insistent grip, and the rage and the fear spiraled up outward of control and melded into a terrible hole. Yeah, I'm going to stop, because that actually is going to take a really long time. But yeah, it's awesome! I love that book so much! Oh my god! Oh my god! Mercedes Lackey, Brightly Burning. Please find this book and read it. Um, that's all I've really done all day. I woke up, I went to church, I came back, and I read. And I've been reading. And it's awesome to just sit and read. I miss reading so much, because I don't get to do it as often as I, as I used to. I used to write! I used to write, like, a story. I have, like... A fold somewhere buried under the mess that is my bedroom. I have, like, binders and folders just filled with stories that I used to write when I was in high school. And I don't, I don't write anymore because I don't read as much. Like, I used to read this book. I, I'm so excited. I'm on, like, where am I now? I'm on chapter 10, which is... What I read you was not where I am. I'm on chapter 10, page 166. I just started this today. So I read much slower than I used to because I used to be able to finish one of those in, like few hours. Uh, I, and I was really reading them. I would go through a lot of them. I would go and reread them and stuff. And so it was so exciting. And when I was in high school, I was under a lot of emotional stress. So I took that out of my writing. And I have like all these stories. Most of them are unfinished. Uh, just because I've lost the inspiration to continue writing them. And so it's awesome to, to sit down and read one of those books that got me started in writing in the first place. And just like, ah, oh, it's just, ah. Oh. I'm a big fanboy. Speaking of fanboys, somebody pointed out to me that she's got, like, a podcast. I'm going to link to that up here because it's, well, I can't. But I'll link to it in the description because you can't link in the videos on the... But she's got a podcast um, that's actually, it's like an audiobook and it's free that she wrote with, like, a bunch of other people about superheroes, like metahumans in modern times, which is, like, way out of left field because she usually writes fantasy but, I mean, it's still sci-fi, so it's still awesome, and it's still amazing. I just listened to the first chapter, and it was awesome. I can't use that word enough. So check that out. Uh, what else? Uh, link up here to today's How Not to Play. And um, that's pretty much it. I have I can't talk about anything I did because I didn't do anything else. Um, so I'm going to go and uh, finish uh, cutting this stuff, and then maybe I'll record some more How Not to Play. We'll see. See? I'm feeling generous. I've been getting suggestions for mixing uh, items, for, for making combining items, 
Um, so I'm going to try some of those out. I'm really excited to see what kind of massive, superior, ultimate weapon of doom I might be able to unleash on the zombie minions. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go do that. Thanks for watching. Uh, you've been watching The Daily Blab for Sunday, April 10th, 2011. If you like these videos, click on the subscribe button down below. If you don't like these videos, you can be chosen by a companion and taken to the uh, Herald's Collegium and learn to become a useful, productive member of the Valdemar Society. Um, if you missed yesterday's episode or entry, you can get there by clicking on the Yesterday tab down here. And you can watch tomorrow's by clicking on the Tomorrow tab over here. That's going to do it for me today. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Look at it.